did not know that you was gonna be wearing this stuff. <laughs> you think you slick? No, I did not know. You knew what the hell you were doing, putting on the orange shirt to match my dress. All right, so we're not gonna be them little weird couples with matching clothes. So you know how our intros end up going every now and then. So, um, and I say so a lot apparently. One of the funny things we're talking about our dress. This is not the topic of the subject today. <laughs> Okay. Wouldn't be one of those weird ones, though, yeah. wouldn't it? Now, here's one of the things that I'm, I'm going to talk about that um, I'm probably going to get dinged on. If you're paying attention to my hands, I'm not wearing my ring. My wife is wearing hers. Yeah, you can bother them on my fingers. <laughs> All right, but the thing is, is and this will be another topic. Well, if you got a ring or not, then you better act like you're married. And she took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so, as I say so a lot, I'm Micah. I'm Jay. And this is Married with Opinions. And hey. boy, do we have some today. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and say this was one that I ran across on Facebook. I seem to be on there a lot. And I have not been causing any trouble lately. I know, you haven't been locked up in a while. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I used to get Facebook jail. So mm, That's what he calls it. Oh. So I ran, ended up running across this one particular, I don't know if it's a, it's not a meme, it's, you know, when it, people take stuff from other folks like Twitter account and they post it on here. So, you know, it would probably help if I actually pulled it up. Oh my gosh, so basically, what had happened was, Oh, um, we can talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. The woman said if there was only one ventilator and she had to choose between her husband and her child, she would choose her husband. Yeah. Her husband to receive the ventilator, just in yes. case anybody is. And her reasoning for that was... I ain't going to live alone. She, she can make... She ain't going to live alone. She can make another she child. She can make another child. But she can't find another him. Yep, can't find another him at all. So that, since I say so a lot, that brought us to this particular topic here. Mm -hmm. Uh, My wife has a very, she really, for me, she nailed it after I presented this to her and what her thought process was, why this is kind of, kind of weird or not weird. Not weird. I mean... If you're making that situation about yourself, then you're selfish. Instead of realizing not everybody is even able to have kids or even then as a as a as a husband or a man in general, why wouldn't you want your child to receive that ventilator anyway? So why would you need to make that choice? I would expect Michael to be like, look, give it to you know. The sad part is, yeah, you can make another kid. If you're able to make another kid, but who's to say you're not meant? To, who's to say you're even meant to be with that person for the rest of your life? Get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I totally mean, understand. That's it's why sad, I, but that's why I shut up this time. Men can, men and women can be replaced. You cannot your child would never. It don't matter how many times you and that husband have kids together. It's not going to be just like the one you just had. You can't duplicate that. Just like you can't duplicate your husband. But, at a certain point, I don't, it, for me, I don't know. Because, for me, you know how they going off of, <laughs> this nigga, oh, my son ain't. He has a life to live. <laughs> Let, and I, I mean, believe, he's had his whole days. I mean, <laughs> my son has it. I gotta give him a chance to be a hoe out here. That's it. You gotta let him sue his oats. <laughs> They're not royal. They're just oats. Yeah, they're wild. <laughs> they're wild oats. <laughs> and you make a you make a pretty good point as as a father. But even, whether whether, the, whether they're your your child or not, as a parent, you would want you want that child to live on. Because even for me, I would want like no get you know what I'm saying because if it came down to it you can make a kid with somebody else mm-hmm. if that was all you wanted the only thing you worried about is having a kid you know that that's what I think that's what irritated me the most about it 
was, I don't want to be alone. Well, you a lonely bitch as it is. If that's the case, apparently you, you need a husband for you to not feel lonely. I said at the end of the day, she was honest. If she really felt that yeah. way, she was honest. Mm -hmm. And that, that a lot of, what it is. I mentioned, everybody, everybody knows the hierarchy is supposed to be God, man, woman, child. Mm -hmm. That is the Christian hierarchy of how, thing, how things are going. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, that man and that woman is supposed to protect that child. If you're even going by that hierarchy. And for her to say that, it didn't even seem like she's even worried about protection. Now these are all, it, these it, are hypothetical situations. Exactly, because who's to even say she has a child? She could have just been throwing it out there. Exactly. Because there is no way in the world you would ever be able to make that decision solely based on you being lonely. No way. Now, there are women who have had children that will choose their husbands. Or their man over because they can't be alone right but as you stated this might be somebody just putting something out here just to stir some stuff up on the internet yeah even if she did I don't know I personally don't know how I would make that decision I really don't now as a man I I couldn't make that decision I'd be like my child our child our children right like that's just and I would prefer it that way. Like yeah. I would, I would hope you would know me well enough to save the child. <laughs> like, <laughs> what gets me about this situation is what happens when that man, if, if that man is saved, mm -hmm. he wake is like he's in a coma or whatever. He wakes up and he's and his he's, child is dead. Yeah, he's gonna hate that woman, which is gonna put her in a position where she's gonna be lonely. She's gonna, gonna be lonely anyway. Even if they stay together, he's gonna be lonely because he more likely might resent. He's her. gonna resent. It. Yeah. Then he's gonna cheat. Next thing you know, he's a no good. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> and don't take cheating for y'all to be no good. <laughs> it ain't always about where you lay your pipe. It's where you leave your PlayStation. <laughs> no <laughs> nigga has come. To me. No one nigga did have a PlayStation at my house. Well, you know we talking about black folks. That's we why know where that happened. We know what happened with that. Get your next box. <laughs> And a ring. Yep. <laughs> but this particular subject, it, it does hit close to home, especially with what's going on nowadays. And I, I believe it was based under the, the current state of the nation dealing with this pandemic. And for some people that, some people that is a hard choice. Some people, I don't, you know, these, these people who, I guess as my wife stated, possibly don't have kids. This, it would be a hard choice to be like so okay so what, here's the other situation if the children weren't hers right and she was just getting into the marriage I mean like neither one of them I mean it's like ain't no way in the hell I'm gonna pick you over your girls sorry that's just me <laughs> I mean <laughs> I, I get it <laughs> But I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm listening to a lot. I mean, my thing, I'm bringing that from the standpoint, there, there are people, there, there are women and there are men who are on that, heck, you know, that's their kids, mm -hmm. not mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, oh, these are the yeah. ones who don't have any children. Mm -hmm. So for them, it would, just like what we were talking about earlier, that would probably be their mindset. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, if I was to end up choosing you, I would end up resenting myself. Mm -hmm. for losing my child. Mm -hmm. And so then there would be also a resentment towards you. I'm like, man, you made me choose. You should have kept your ass in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you out there, fool. <laughs> I was essential. <laughs> I was essential. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> you got to keep me. I'm essential. <laughs> That's what that is. I'm an essential worker. No. Yes. No, you're not. You're trying to make yourself feel special. Men are essential. No, the. F <laughs> it's only one thing a woman needs a man for, and that is protection. No. It's see two things: security. A baby. That's the only reason we need a man, <laughs> or even just what comes out of you. 
Uh, that that love Dave Chappelle talked about, he put on somebody's uh, shit. Right. <laughs> Y'all need love <laughs> from us men. Whatever. But anyway, I don't. I, it would be a hard decision if we were thrown into that. It would be. It would. It would be a hard decision. But I'm gonna tell you what's funny. I wouldn't resent my child for me choosing him. No. And it's we. You know. And it's because. I don't know, but I would resent. I would. Re, I would not like you. If I chose you. If I, <laughs> if I. If I had to. If I ended up having to choose you. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know. And I love you. I would resent you if you chose me. I know. Well, that's what that's we it. said. Yeah. Yes. Be a self hatred and all that stuff, but like, yeah, as as a as an as a parent, there's no way in the hell I'm gonna let you choose me over my child. Nope, not happening. So, in the words of Clayton Thomas, it's about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, and really, it is. You just hope that by this time anything goes down, you have instilled enough in them to know right from wrong to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully make better choices. Hopefully this is not a thing they feel like they don't, you know, they I haven't had a chance to be a kid since such and such died. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, know, well, man the fuck up. Pretty much. Woman up. Well, so far as this person who was very honest in saying what she said, whether or not this was real or joke, it does raise some actual questions and it'll mm -hmm. make you as a lot of our conversations, you really need to question your partner. Mm-hmm. People think about, you know, you get counseling, and I, I know we didn't, and you get counseling, and there's certain things that should be brought up, but you can't bring, not every person has every scenario to bring up. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure one of the things that we are going to have to discuss, and which would be great, is a last, you know, a will, living, mm -hmm. or, or whatnot. Yeah. That way we don't, don't care a basking situation. <laughs> Actually have it done correctly. <laughs> right. In disappearance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the disappearance. But these are things that you like. I said you can't. You can't. You can't prepare for everything. Who would know in a counseling session? Well, oh, what if this is some flu disease that comes up and you don't have a respirator? Right. Who are you gonna choose? <laughs> and then when she turn around and say, "Look, I'm choosing my husband over the kids," and he'd be like, "Well, <laughs> we ain't gonna make it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or he'd be like, "That's my bitch." Right. <laughs> Exactly. Like, oh, um, wow. Y'all some selfish motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of the joke or whatnot, this is something that you really need to, I think, as a you know husband and wife or people looking possibly getting married, uh, it's a conversation that they need to have. Mm -hmm. The If it's just casual dating, fuck it, live your life. Right. Because you don't know. You know, you don't know if you're going to be with that person. Heck, that could just be the itch of the week. You be setting yourself up. What the? How many itches did you need to have in one week? Oh, God, here we go. Anyway. Hoeing is a blur. You don't say it as good as me. Well, how am I supposed to say it? You say, because you, you speak too proper. Sometimes you got to let your tongue be lazy. Uh, yes. At times, I know you don't want this tongue to be lazy. <laughs> Likes that proper. So is there anything else? I'm like done. <laughs> I'll let your ass die. <laughs> Sign of a good woman, she'll let you die. For the kids. <laughs> For the kids. It would be heartbreaking either way. It would be heartbreaking either way, but... I, like, it'd be different my kid was a crackhead. You know? <laughs> they didn't think about those circumstances. Like, you know... But, he was on drugs, and I'm like, oh, nigga, you ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna be shit. I'm not saving you. <laughs> I'm not keeping you around. Yeah, only thing you're doing is using crack. That's it. That's all you're doing. Keep asking me for money. You're probably trying to learn, trying to steal VCRs. They don't even make them no more. <laughs> I ain't getting Blu rays, man. Or projectors. <laughs> well, as that's everything. We wanted to thank you for spending time with us. And if you have 
any kind of suggestions or comments, you can leave them below. below. And also have the email. Now, if you have a story or something, or if you want to comment or, you know, something, and you just want to remain anonymous, you can leave it at the email that is also below in the comments. But just in case some people are, you know, she's going to give me heck about this. I'm going to have it on the screen here. And it Whatever. is. And the email address is married. Yeah, you see her knee like nudge me. It's married, M A R R I E D W O P at gmail.com. That is married. W it's going to be on the screen. You don't need to say it four times. You don't know. They could just be listening. This ain't no podcast. It can be. Oh, jeez Louise. Would you? But anyway, it's down here. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, thank you for spending time with us. And we'll catch you on the next one.